In this video, we're going to do a simple interest word problem. Now the question reads, Paula deposited $1,200 in a savings account for one year at 6% simple interest per annum. Let's read this question one more time. It says Paula deposited $1,200 in a savings account for one year at 6% simple interest per annum. So they tell us that it is a simple interest problem. Once you see these two words, you should already start to smile because we're just going to use a formula. And we know the formula for simple interest is going to be simple interest equals principal. I'm going to write P for principal times rate. I'm going to write R for rate multiplied by time. I'm just going to write T for time over 100. Now part A says calculate the interest after one year. Anytime they want you to calculate the interest, we're just going to use the formula. So let's find the principal rate and time in this question. It says Paula deposited $1,200 in a savings account. So we know the principal is going to be $1,200. I'm going to write P equals $1,200. And we know the principal is always going to be the money that's either borrowed or deposited. So it's always going to be the starting amount. Next, we have the rate. The rate is always going to be written as a percentage. It says, in a savings account for one year at 6% simple interest per annum. So they tell us the rate is going to be 6%. We can write R equals 6% percent and finally for the time we know the time is going to be told in years let's read the question one more time it says Paula deposited 1200 in a savings account for one year so they tell us how long she is going to deposit the money for and it's going to be for one year so for the time we know we have one year now let's fill in this information into our formula to find the interest. We can say interest equals principal times rate times time over 100. Therefore, when we start to fill in the values, the principal is going to be 1,200. So we have 1,200 multiplied by the rate, which is 6%. Now we're just going to write 6 for the rate, multiplied by the time, and the time is going to be 1 year. So we're just going to write 1. All of this over 100. Now let's simplify this. This 0 can cancel out with this 0, and this 0 can cancel out with this 0. Therefore, we're left with interest equals 12 multiplied by 6, multiplied by 1, over 1. If we can remember our multiplication table, we know 12 times 6 is going to give us 72, multiplied by 1, over 1. We know any number multiplied by 1 is going to give us that number. Therefore, 72 multiplied by 1 is going to equal 72, over 1 and we know any number divided by 1 is going to give us that number therefore 72 divided by 1 is just going to give us 72 so the interest in this problem is going to be 72 dollars this is going to be our answer for part a we're just going to write 72 dollars now for part b it says calculate the amount in her account after one year Let's read it one more time. It says calculate the amount in her account after one year. So they want us to find the total amount in her account after she has deposited $1,200 in this savings account for one year. In order to calculate this, we're going to use a formula. And that formula is going to be total amount equals principal. I'm just going to write P for principal. And we know the principal is going to be the money either borrowed or deposited. 
Therefore, the principal is going to be the starting amount plus the interest after one year. Now, we know the principal is going to be $1,200. This is how much Paula deposited into the savings account. So, for the principal, we're just going to write $1,200 plus I, which is the interest. And we found the interest for one year in Part A. And we know that's going to give us $72. So after one year, her interest is going to be $72. So we can add $72 to the principal. And when we set this up to solve for this, we know $1,200 plus $72 is going to give us 0 plus 2 equals 2. 0 plus 7 is 7. 2 plus 0 is 2, and 1 plus 0 is 1. We're just going to write back the money symbol. Therefore, the total amount Paula is going to receive after one year is going to be 1,272. This is going to be our answer for part B. So in the space provided, we're just going to write 1,000. 272. So remember, anytime you're solving a simple interest problem, you should always remember the formula, which is simple interest equals principal times rate times time. Once you can remember this formula, all you're going to do from there on out is find exactly what is the principal, and we know the principal is always going to be the starting amount, which is the money either borrowed or deposited. Then we're going to find the rate. Once we find the rate, which is going to be a percentage, then we're going to find the time in years. We're going to put it over 100 and then start to solve to find the interest. So this is how you answer a question like this.